Hi guys and welcome back to DIY Ideas and welcome to a new really cute pattern tutorial. And this is great for spring. I'm going to show you um, this really cute V pattern and um, like shell pattern mix. And these are these like arcs kind of that are around the Vs or on top of the Vs. And these are great. Yeah, I think it's a great pattern. Um, I did this with color fade wool. Um, this is actually a different variation of the twist yarn here from Teddy. Um, it's really nice. It's really pretty. I think these colors are lovely. It's like a gray, pink, a brown, and you can really see the, the color fade here really nicely. Um, and so I like, yeah, that's kind of why I like to use um, the different patterns in this color, uh, color fit wool. I'm going to use my size six here. All right, guys, let's get started. So we will start with um, a leftover wool here <laughs> of this cool color fit wool. I'm going to start with some chain stitches here. Um, in general, this is a multiple of five chain stitches. I'm going to do this three times next to, next to each other, so I will do 15 um, as my base. And then I will add two for height. Two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and then another two for height. Okay, so now we have 17 stitches here next to each other. You can always, you know, add five more or, you know, deduct five if you want it to be wider or, le or less wide. We skip the first four, three for height, one for distance. Um, and then we start here with the Vs. So I will do a double crochet, add two chain stitches, and then add another double crochet into the same stitch. Then um, I will take another chain stitch as a distance um, here between the Vs, and then I will skip four chain stitches. Okay, this is what I'll skip. And then we continue with more double crochets. And two chain stitches, and another double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, so now we have two already. Then skip four chain stitches again. We should have three chain stitches left, which is exactly right. Here as um, a distance, I'll actually add another chain stitch so that between the Vs, there's always one chain stitch. And then here in between, um, let's go. So double crochet, two chain stitches and another double crochet. And then here into the very last one that we have left, we will add a double crochet. That's the end of this row. Okay, now here on the outside, we always have, um, this is a double crochet in the chain stitch, and here on the right, we have four chain stitches. Um, three for height, yeah, that's kind of like one double crochet, and then one another one, which is, you know, same as on the other side. Okay, let's continue. And three chain stitches for height. Then we turn it around and here um, into the V, five chain stitches, sorry, five double crochets around the, yeah, two chain stitches of the row before. Three, four, and number five. Okay, so you can see it's getting kind of crowded. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to add another chain stitch. Um, I'm just continuing in the next V. And I'll add also three, four, five double crochets. Okay. And we continue in the next one. Two, three, Four, five. Okay, so now we have 15 double crochets in this row already. 
And here on the very end, we will add another double crochet around the chain stitches at the very beginning. Done. And with that, this row is done as well. So now we are switching back to the first variation um, of how we were doing the rows. So we add three chain stitches, four chain stitches, sorry, for height. Um, and then here centrally, um, in the middle double crochet here into the stitch of the middle, du middle double crochet into the third one, we will add a V. So double crochet, two chain stitches and another double crochet. Then in the chain stitch, um, in this row we're going to do a lot more chain stitches. <laughs> then we're going to the next spot. One, two chain stitches, and another double crochet. As you can see here, um, yeah, we have two Vs already in this row. Um, with two chain stitches in the middle each, and in between all the Vs, we have one chain stitch as a distance, so that's not too much tension. Okay, and then we're almost done with this row. And um, after this, we're gonna add a chain stitch and then we add the final double crochet around the chain stitches of the row before. All right, so this row is done now as well. And I'm going to show you row number four as well here. So it's back into the shell pattern. And then soon we're actually already at the brown color. Okay, um, three chain stitches to start. And then we do the packs of five. And number five. Okay, next. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we have two. And we continue. Four. And number five. One, two, three, four. And number five. Oops, oh no. <laughs> Um, that was number five. I'm going to do this one again. And then here on the very um, end, we're adding another double crochet and then we're done with this row as well. Um, really nice. I think it looks super pretty. Um, I'm going to continue a little more and give you an update. Alright, so after a few more rows, this is what it looks like. Um, here where I started with the gray and then we went over to the pink, then we have the brown. Um, and you can see, yeah, the really nice V's here um, and the more double crochets that are here um, on the top and then the central V's. And I think this is actually a super easy pattern, but with a really nice effect. I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, then please go ahead and follow my channel and subscribe. And I'll see you next time back here at DIY Ideas. Bye.